Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you can hear me clearly. I'm trying to use the microphone headset rather than using the, uh, the built-in mic on the tablet. So this video is going to be regarding an experience that my, my daddy apparently had and this was within the past few months. So he was in this Walmart and he said this occurred in North Carolina well, in, in the Carolinas, I can't remember if it was North or South Carolina, but we were discussing the Mandela Effect. I was talking about various things and how amazing it is that, that these shifts take place, and then other people out there seemingly have no recollection of what we do, and how all of these things it's take place, and then, I don't know why the fire stick just started playing a video, but... Um, all these things happen to certain people and then how I've got all of you to share with and how it's such a blessing. And then I was talking about how things can seemingly shift and change and how I went into this Walmart and I asked the guy, I said, I mean, I said, first of all, I started the conversation out with Addy and stated, you know how on the left side and the right side they had carts and they also had this little room where they, where they put the uh, riding carts to charge them. And there's like a claw machine and everything, all those kind of things. They have drink machines on the outside and then there's a claw machine. They put the... Uh, the riding carts on the inside and charge them. Well, this time I walked in there and there was no, there were no riding carts. There was no section. There was no section there. It's just a wall, just just one big wall to your left. There's no section. There's just a, a just a wall. You just it's like you just walk right in the doors and there's no room. There's just a wall. I'm thinking, what the heck? Where's the, where's the carts? And then you look, you go in the building, and there's the cards, and they have two that are plugged up, and the other side's where they really keep them. And I asked the guy, you know, he'd been working there for several years, and he said, they've never had that there, it's always been that way. And I said, oh, okay, okay, I'm thinking the other side, never mind. I just moved on, I wasn't going to talk about that. But my daddy had an experience that was similar. I told him about that experience, and he stated that he went into that Walmart, he went into a Walmart in, in the Carolinas, and there was a woman, he asked them, do they have a, uh, he walked in there and said, do they have a, uh, the, a haircutting place, you know, like the hairstyling place where he was going to have his, get a haircut, he was going to get a haircut there, and he asked her, do they have one of those places in there, and she said, no, no, sorry, she said, we've never had one of those in here. And he said she was just as serious. She looked at him just as serious as could be. And she was 100% serious that that they never had one of those places in there. And he said, oh, well, okay. And walked on off. And he said she had the conversation with him, stating that, no, they had never had one in there. I'm sorry. So he did his thing. He got a few things, I guess, for the, for the road. And then he was... Uh, he, uh, I think he said he went just a little ways further, in, on, and on the other side, there was the hair, hair, there was the hairstyling place. I don't know what happened to the woman that he just spoke to, but he said there was a hairstyling place, even though she was dead serious. She was 100% serious that there was no hairstyling place for her. She said, no, we've never had one of those here. And he said she was serious, 100%. And then it turns out, he walks a little ways, and there's a hairstyling place. And I said, what would have been, what would have been freaky? I told him if, if she hadn't have been there, she disappeared, or there was a shift that took place, some sort of shift. And, and he stated she was serious. She was very serious about that whole thing. That uh, He said she had the most serious look on her face that, no, no, we've never had one of those. And there it was right there. Another thing is for me... Regarding Walmart's, the uh, I would go into the uh, the hair cutting place. I guess it's called the uh, is it Smart Clips? That might be the name of the place. Smart Clips. I'm not sure, but um, I rarely ever go there. But when when we did, they uh, they stated, well, the same person now that that I that I'll get to in a moment stated this girl told us that. They don't do shaving anymore. They can't do shaving due to lawsuits and due to germs and issues um, that, that they went through. And this was several years ago. 
And then, fast forward months later, and we asked them, and she said, yeah, yeah, we've always done that. I said, really? I said, I noticed you were shaving someone, and I said, I thought y'all couldn't do that. I thought you couldn't do that anymore. And she said, no, we've, we've always done that. And at the time, we felt like, well, they must have been lying to us or something. But no, she, uh, she was, and it was the same girl that told us that they couldn't do it anymore. They weren't allowed to. And several other places had stopped that. Now they can do it. Well, I don't know about now. Maybe we've shifted again. I don't know. Or maybe the shift is taking place to the point where we can't. I don't know how this happens, but something happens, obviously. Something changes the reality around us. But now they do that. They, they do shaving again. And seemingly never stopped. So that's what was crazy. So there was a situation in one of the local Walmarts that... The entire area where they put the carts is gone. Seemingly has never been there for many years. And in the other time, my daddy spoke to this person. She said, and was 100% serious, that no, no, we don't have a hairstylist place in here. We don't have a haircutting place, a uh, smart clips or whatever it is, great clips, I don't know. Um, but they don't have a place to cut your hair. And then suddenly he walks off and then there's the place, there's the beautician, whatever they call that place. There's the place that cuts hair. There's the hair cutting place. It's not a barber shop. It's it's like a different. You, you know what it is. And she just told him there was there was none there, and then there it was. And Daddy said what was so weird is that she was 100% serious. And oh my goodness, I've got so much to talk about. Doppelganger situations, people looking like someone else, um, conversations that I've had with individuals recently. Um, I'll share that in a moment. But yeah, all these situations have happened recently, and I wanted to share that. Also, that situation where they wouldn't like weren't allowed to cut hair or shave beards. And suddenly they were, and they never, they never had that an issue with that. So let me know your memories on all this. If any of you any of you are affected by this, also the tea on Walmart has been off for a long time. It should go all the way across like that, but it doesn't. That's a half tea. It doesn't make a cross anymore. It kind of takes the whole cross aspect out of the tea. A T should look like, well, you know what a T should look like. A T should look like a cross. Like that. Or, whoops, sorry. Like that. With a little, the crook. Well, that was awful. But anyway, you get, you get what I mean. I've got some other aspect, uh, other aspects. I've got some videos, some other videos to make here regarding some other situations that have taken place. Um, just various aspects of things that, that I that I feel and things that I want to share with you all. So, yeah, I'm going to do that video really quickly. Much love and peace. Thank you for watching. Bye.